for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of multi story building with sloping ground by using start pro v8a software so i was already done the modeling process by using start pro software in my upcoming videos i will explain you how to model the uh, sloping ground building by using start pro software so in this current video i will explain you how to design that particular structure by using start pro v8a software so for that just i'm selecting this model so now now we can see this is my model which is consisting of uh, ground floor uh, first floor second third fourth fifth six seven eight nine okay so g plus nine story building just i'm considering here so initially i will show you this model in 3d rendering view click on the 3d rendering view option now you can see for this respected building structure i was taking the slope which is of 20 degrees uh, from the left hand side to right hand side section okay click on the modeling select the front view option now you can see this is the starting point so from this point just i was consider the slope of this particular ground is 20 degrees okay so in order to calculate the slope just we need to calculate the uh, distance from this particular point to particular point okay so here in this case i was taken the different distance from the one column to another column so uh, you can consider your respected resp uh, distance according to the architectural plan okay so in this video i was consider the distance between this respected first part, uh, column to second column is 3 second to third is 3 and third to fourth is uh, uh, 1.5 this is uh, 3 and last one is 3 ok for this particular portion I was calculated the uh, distance that is required for the vertical direction in order to get the slope of 20 degrees ok I was deducted the particular uh, distance from this column position then after that I was added the support conditions here ok so for the for this respected building structure i was consider the beam size which is consisting of approximately 0.45 cross 0.23 and column size is 0.5 cross 0.5 and plate thickness i was taken as 150 mm okay so firstly i will uh, show you the load cases which i was applied for this building click on the loads and definition click on this option so for this structure i was taken the both the combinations of dead load live load and earthquake load as well as the wind loading cases okay so which is comes under the zone 5 condition system okay so after the uh, applying the load cases we need to analyze the structure go to analysis and print option add your no print option close option analyze option run analysis save option here now we have to check for the zero errors for this respected analysis process now we can see here my model is checking for the zero errors if the model is obtained with zero errors then our model is correct according to the analysis process then you can easy to proceed with the designing process according to is 456 2000 codal provision standard system okay so now we can see here my model is obtained with zero errors go to post processing mode option here click on done option so that it will display the uh, displacement diagram which is comes under the earthquake load in x select the dead loading condition now you can see this is the deflection diagram again in the same process you can select the live load and you can select the earthquake load in x direction like this earthquake load in z direction here like this in the same process you can select the wind load in x direction like this okay so click on the beam option so deselect the mz value select the fi value this is a shear force shear force diagram which is comes under the dead loading condition system again i am selecting the mz value this is the bending one diagram for this respective structure due to the presence of the sloping section so again in the same process i am selecting plate pressure apply the stress type is absolute pressure click on apply option click on ok this is the maximum absolute pressure for this respective structure so after analysis process is completed we need to design this structure for that go to click on the modeling option click on the design option select the concrete design so in this case i am considering the is456 2000 codal provision standard system here click on the select parameters firstly we have to deselect all the parameters from this we need to select the com uh, compressive strength value fc yield strength yield strength of shear reinforcement maximum and maximum secondary md1 md2 and clear click on ok again we have to select the defined parameters for this building i am taking the uh, grade of the concrete is m30 grade concrete provision 30,000 click on add option again i am selecting fi main which is comes under the hysd bars of 500 grade 500,000 click on add option a, a, fi section reinforcement again in the same process i am adding 1 2 3 500,000 click on add option maximum main just i am selecting 16 mm diameter bar click on add option 
maximum second is just i'm selecting 12 mm diameter bar click on add option md1 just i'm selecting here as 12 mm diameter bar click on add option md2 click on add option close option select the comments option click on design beam command click on the design column command click on the slab element command and take off command finally okay click on add option close option so after that we have to uh, assign this particular question marks for the building select this fc by using assign to view assign yes select f5 main by using assign to view assign yes option again section reinforcement assign to view assign yes select uh, maximum main assign to view assign yes option maximum secondary also assign to view assign yes option select md1 assign to view assign yes option again i'm selecting md2 here assign to view assign yes option just i'm selecting the beam go to select beams parallel to x condition system again i'm selecting the beams parallel to z condition system assign to selected beams assign yes design column command let us consider here select beams parallel to let us consider y direction condition assign to selected beams assign yes select design element by using assign to view assign option yes option so after that we have to select the analysis and print again add your no print again close option again go to analyze option again here run analysis save option here again we have to check for the zero errors according to the design which is considered according to is 456 2000 codal provision standard now here you can see according to the design section it is obtained with zero errors go to post to processing mode option click on done option okay so here i am deselecting this particular uh, deflection diagram here just i am selecting the beam option here just i am selecting this particular beam double click on it click on the concrete design now we can see for this respected concrete design it is consisting of 10 bars of 12 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section and 4 bars of 10 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section again in the same process you can select any one of the beam concrete design so that it will show you the reinforcement design results so for this respected section it is consisting of 6 bars of 16 mm diameter bars and bottom reinforcement will be consisting of 10 bars of 10 mm diameter bar for this respected section in the same process i am selecting the column here double click on it click on the concrete design for this respected section it is consisting of 28 numbers of uh, 16 mm diameter bar that is required for this column construction which is consisting of 550 cross 550 dimensions again in the same process we can see the output file which is comes under the stat pro software so click on the results option click on the concrete design so it will be consisting of complete details about the co concrete design results which is comes under this particular section okay so after the designing process completed we need to design the foundation so for that firstly we have to click on the foundation design select the load cases which is comes under this particular consideration so you can uh, select the load cases for the designing of the foundation according to your consideration click on include option click on the run start foundation the fixed supports which is comes under this particular uh, uh, sloping ground building will be directly imported to start foundation software so here you can see all the fixed supports are imported here so you can uh, select the loads and factors option initially so click on the selection of your respected uh, generate load combination click on select indian standard provisions system click on the generate load combination for the service load combination initially again we have to click on the generate load combination for the ultimate load combination again we have to click on the okay option so after that we have to select the job setup option create job option select the job name just i'm taking asd let us consider isolated footing which is comes under the indian standard assigned to all supports option here and select the load combination which is generated here next i'm selecting this respective load combination click on create job option so that the isolated footing job information will be uh, seen in the left hand side you can select the parameters next i'm selecting here and you can select the cover and soil type next i'm considering so cover uh, soil type will be of 180 click on the sliding and over turning click on design option click on s option so that it will start designing your respected isolated footing according to is 456 2000 codal provision standard system so you can select any one of the foundation just i'm selecting 253 which is consisting of all detail calculation part which is comes under the isolated footing click on the geometry click on the details and drawing now you can see this is the details and drawing for this respected uh, isolated footing according to is 456 2000 codal provision standard system it is required approximately 50 mm cover at the bottom and it is required approximately 10 mm bars of uh, 65 mm center to center distance for the respected mesh so this is the jr drawing this is a calculation sheet okay so this is the complete process of analysis and designing of uh, g place 9 story building with 20 degree slope by using 
stat pro v8 i software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you